let's see if we can do something different for them this year. Certainly send them a hamper of chocolates. I'm sure they'll fall in love with that. But we're going to be talking about the health aspects of this because we're going to be eating cocoa tomorrow as we celebrate Chocolate Day. Joining me in studio to discuss this very important topic are Nana Eduna II from Ohine Cocoa Brand. He's also known as Dr. Yao Enfojo in other circles. And Dr. Jesslyn Asamwash of Dr. Jani Ventures, who's also going to be talking to me about this. Good morning, gentlemen and lady. Good morning. So, Nana Eduna, you wear two caps today as the doctor and the cocoa farmer. But tell me, tomorrow we're celebrating cocoa because we'll be eating chocolate, and that's a very good produce in agriculture in Ghana. But when you are in the industry, how does it feel? Tough. Tough. I, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm, I've got a psychiatry background, so mm. I equate mental health and cocoa farming. Right. Both tough. There appears to be very little support okay. uh, in terms of, uh, for the cocoa farming, the farming aspect, there seems to be support okay. from Cocoa Board, which is right. the big plan. But in actual fact, to actually do commercial mm. cocoa farming mm -hmm. properly, uh, spray at the right time, the, the cost of labor, uh, forgetting the cost of land mm. because that is assumed, etc. It's a very, <laughs> a very expensive mm. venture. So uh, now, we, we're talking of Valentine's Day tomorrow, mm. and, and Valentine is built, or the commercial aspect is built very much around chocolate. Right. Now, to, to, to go to the next step of value addition, mm. which, is, which is where <laughs> the real cash is, mm. as, as a farmer, it actually is very tough. Okay. You know, and, and, and so uh, just, just speaking from that aspect, it, it, the making that transition is not easy. But it's also exciting from the mm. health perspective, right. because we're talking about the health aspect of cocoa, that just the physical activity involved in, in, in farming mm. in itself keeps one healthy and energetic and fit, but <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> it is indeed. But let me come to you, Dr. Jaslyn Asamoa. Let's talk about the health benefits of cocoa. First of all, what are some of the things we can manufacture out of cocoa that we can also eat or take in that, you know, give us the health benefits that we're going to be Ooh, talking that's about? My, that will be my favorite question, mm. really. <laughs> Thanks for just going straight to the point. Health benefits of cocoa, is, I have um, some 10 reasons why Cocoa Bot says we should eat cocoa, which is right. just a summary of it, that it provides powerful dietary antioxidants, okay. it reduces blood pressure, yeah. it delays the physical signs of aging, right. it minimizes discomfort and pain associated with menstruation. Okay. It minimizes worrisome changes also associated with menopause. Mm. So like hormonal balances, right. it helps. It has aphrodisiac effects. Mm. <laughs> Which is what I'm <laughs> many Ghanaians are happy about. I know, right? <laughs> Can I just ask, why should the men be taking all these horrible bitters, mm. which is just yes. loaded with alcohol? When you've when got cocoa. When you yeah, get you cocoa, cocoa, right, right. to yeah. do the job for you. Right, right. Then we'll start harnessing more on that. So <laughs> let's go through the rest of the point. It prevents choke by improving the blood circulation. Okay. And it fights dental decay. That wow. is cocoa. Wow. But not when you take the really sugary chocolate. Mm. You know that chocolate has an, ad an adverse effect on the teeth. It fights stress and okay. reboots energy and vitality. Nice. So it seems like from head to toe, cocoa yeah. seems to play a role in that. Yes. But people's challenge is the forms in which cocoa is processed. Because you mentioned right there that we shouldn't, it's not about the sugary contents yes. of it. But most often, the ones that are nice are the chocolates. The other things, the cocoa drinks, tend to be bitter to most people. Do you think this is one of the reasons why people don't actually participate or contribute in, you know, harnessing these benefits one of cocoa? One of the reasons why people are... To a bit put off with mm. chocolate is of course the sugar content right. but we have plain chocolate we have okay. darker chocolates yeah. that have less sugar right. and you could just have your cocoa drink and instead of adding sugar you add honey okay so yeah and the products because you i, I answered half of the question but right. not the other yeah. half the products that we can make from cocoa mm. most people know chocolate yeah but beside chocolate we have body creams we have cocoa mm. butter we have cocoa nips which nana does and it's mixed with fruits, mm. so it doesn't have sugar. Okay. I do chocolate facial scrubs. We have chocolate granules, like cocoa granules. Mm. We have hair food, even with cocoa butter, right. with chocolate, okay. and chocolate sweet soups. Mm. But the ones that we don't eat, do they also provide the same benefits as the ones that we eat? 
um, um, the percentage will be a bit less right. because absorption would need to be done through the skin, mm. like you all know, so it will be mm. less. Okay. But you still get the aroma and the euph euphoric effect mm. when you use anything that's mm. associated with cocoa. Hmm, very well. So let's talk about the chocolate, the one that we all use, because yes. tomorrow that's what we'll be celebrating, where there's so much sugar content. Can you actually try and educate us on what kind of um, chocolate we can eat to make sure we're getting the full benefits? Because if you're eating chocolate, which is good, cocoa, but then you've got too much sugar, which is bad, then you're negating the effects of both. So what, can, what kind of products should we really patronize to make sure that we're getting both um, yeah, we should, qualities? So we should look at the milk chocolates. Okay. We should look at the plain chocolates. Right. We have chocolates that 70% dark chocolate. Okay. So that has more cocoa, cocoa. benefits okay. than those that have 30% and 20%. Right. Right. And chocolates made in Ghana are really good. Mm. Most of the chocolates that are imported actually are substituted. Mm. With They've got fats. more milk than chocolate. And fats. <laughs> and vegetable fats. Mm. Yeah. You can read it. It says it. Mm. Vegetable yeah. fats. Right. It's not cocoa. Mm. Yeah. And then they write cocoa and cocoa solids maybe 3% or 10%. Mm. So it's like really minimal. Okay. So we just need to patronize our made in Ghana chocolates, which will be available at the National Theatre tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dr. Fodra, you wanted to add I something. To add, again, I think she made a very important point. Uh, when you look at the composition of a lot of chocolates, mm. the, the, the key thing there is not substituted. Okay. Yeah. Because cocoa butter, which I would describe as the jewel in all cocoa, is the healthy okay. or, uh, vegetable or the healthy natural oil in, in cocoa. And that contains all the essential... Uh, fatty acids needed mm. for for the for the human body. Right. Now you notice that a lot of the foreign chocolates they are substituted part of the cocoa butter with soy butter, mm. with soy oil, with other vegetable oils. Okay. Whilst in the Ghanaian chocolates, because we have the cocoa, fortunately we have the cocoa in abundance, mm -hmm. and unfortunately <laughs> we also go and give it away. We generally don't substitute. Right. That's very important. Another important thing also, again, talking about uh, the, the, the uses of, of cocoa and cocoa butter and uh, the theme of love, etc. Mm. I mean, a lot of the, the very high-end cosmetics mm. are actually made out of cocoa okay. and made out of cocoa butter. Right. Because cocoa butter is the one natural oil that dissolves or is able to be applied onto the body at room, at normal body temperature, okay. and Stay naturally fixed. just gets, gets, gets absorbed, absorbed into the skin. Mm. It is, it's, got, it's got that unique property right. where it's rubbed on the skin and it just goes into the skin naturally. It doesn't lie on the skin like Vaseline or, you know. So cocoa butter and shea butter, mm. very, very powerful things that we do have, mm. plus all the, the, other. the other health benefits that it comes with. But finally, let's touch on the, um, you know, female part benefits of the cocoa because we talk about menopause and the menstrual pain that people go through. <laughs> Which products per se would help in these parts? So that women, I know many women listening there were interested when they heard that. The men will be happy for the aphrodisiac. So, so we'll let <laughs> Dr. Enfordjo touch on that when we get to talking about that part. That's so funny. So cocoa has natural alkaloids, theobromine. And it has endorphins, natural endorphins, mm. so which increase well-being and all that. So right. all these things help with the pains. They help with the state of well-being. And, and excites and it also has caffeine, but mm. very minimal, mm. which also is stimulant. Right. So when women take these, they, they get happy because, you know, menstrual pains has to do with hormonal imbalances mm. and all that. So then you're taking chocolate or you're taking cocoa nips, which sort of lifts you up, lifts your mood. Okay. And some people have been saying, oh, because of that, chocolate can be addictive. But we don't call it addictive. Mm. We just say you have cravings for right. it. But certainly if you tip from the cravings and you're, I mean, you need chocolate to live, then you are, <laughs> have become addicted to it. But anyway, final words from you. Just a quick one to add to that. There's a substance called phenylalanine, okay. which is found in cocoa. Yeah. And that's actually, again, uh, applying one psychiatry or maybe, uh, what did they call it, uh, ability to, un to understand the mind. Right. That's actually the basis for okay. the elevation of, of the, of the, the, the yes. Okay. Yeah. 
in, 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 in Coco. <laughs> now, coming to We the Guys. Yes, yeah, for DJ. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> actually, again, I'll play back on my pharmaceutical experience. I did some work with, with Pfizer, and we actually <laughs> do, were part of the team, did some of the early marketing work on Viagra. Okay. Now, incidentally, uh, again, similar action. Uh, Coco, uh, flavonoids, alkaloids, uh, pro eventually produce nitrous oxide. Right. And nitrous oxide is the one that dilates the blood vessels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So similar action to in the way that sildenafil, uh, Soldan etc. Yeah. work. Mm -hmm. It's just that, again, we've sat down. I mean, if there's one product that we should allow herbalists, or we should allow those who sell all kinds, they say they have something, a cure right. for anything. On those new trains that are coming, <laughs> it be then cocoa. it should be cocoa it beans. Be cocoa. Right. Because yes. that would be encouraging mm. job creation right. for us. And we would actually be telling the truth mm. about health benefits of something that is so easily available right. to us. So cocoa is a winner. Mm. And, and of course, we've, we've always equated cocoa to chocolate. And which is not necessary, yes, but it is way bigger than that. There's right. the confectionery aspect, there's the cosmetic That's aspect, mm. which is huge for you women. So, uh, tomorrow is love and day. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I Sorry. Just, I, I think from this, we're all advocating that maybe chocolate day should be changed to the whole cocoa, so we celebrate the whole fruit, because chocolate is just one aspect of the benefits, but there are many other benefits from the cosmetic, like we said, the confectionery and all the other products. But I'm sure you've picked a thing or two concerning cocoa and the benefits, and tomorrow we will be celebrating National Chocolate Day, so make sure you get someone that gift so that they can benefit from cocoa. But we have some questions for you. Remember we told you tomorrow we'll be sharing some goodies so make sure you can answer any of these questions on our social media platform so the first question is mention one health benefit of cocoa just one one health benefit of cocoa then also we would ask the second which is which type of chocolate has less sugar which type of chocolate product has less sugar and then what can cocoa be used for apart from chocolates what can cocoa be used for apart from chocolate? And then finally, which region produces the most cocoa in Ghana? Which region produces the most cocoa in Ghana? So concerning this, I have been speaking to Dr. Jazlyn Asamwa of Dr. Jani Ventures and also Nana Eduna II from Ohine Cocoa Brand. He's also known as Dr. Yawen Fodro, as he mentioned. He is a he works with mental health so if he tells you the benefits of cocoa concerning mental health believe him there but guys that's all we have for you concerning cocoa today and then also we'll make sure that tomorrow we give out those gifts if you're able to answer any of these questions on our social media platform